again. I'm Richard Moorcroft and welcome to a new week. Another chance to have too much fun with nine letters and six numbers. But we know how to party with a few words and a splash of maths. And on this show, we have got the team that makes it all happen. Yes, pouring the equation cocktails. It's Lily Serna. Hi, Richard. However, you know, I think drink and equations may be not a good cocktail itself. Oh, well, you know my motto, Richard. Never drink and solve. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a lot of solving to do tonight. Good to see you, Lily. And the man who could turn a crossword into a dance routine, David Astor. Oh, thank you. Now, David, uh, you know, when you weren't busy dancing over the weekend, oh, yeah. <laughs> did you hear a few words? Because, you know, you, you hear some fast... Well, you notice really fascinating stuff. I do. Stuff. I, look, I'm a filter feeder. Um, and uh, I, we all know about large-ish is fairly large and blue-ish is fairly blue. And if I'm coming around to your place at five-ish, that's around about five. But a friend of mine said five about-ish. And I'm thinking that's <laughs> even more ish than ish. <laughs> that is a lovely ish evolution. <laughs> it is. Good to see you, David. And now, please, welcome to the party, our two contestants tonight. First up, our carryover champion, Jack Dell, a man of many talents, currently a school groundsman, computer technician and teacher who's taught secondary level maths for many years. So uh, good to see you back, Jack. Hi again, Richard. Do you like to, to, to mix up that kind of job cocktail? Yeah, I like to try as many things as possible. Um, they call me Jack of all trades, actually. Uh, master of they many. Leave, they, yeah, master of <laughs> many. I was going to say they leave the rest of that out. Welcome back and good luck tonight. Thank you. And here to challenge Jack is Seb Dworkin, a research scientist with a PhD in neurobiology who started up his own trivia night hosting company. So uh, welcome to you, Seb. Thanks, Richard. Now... That does seem a little bit of an interesting transition from neurobiology to, uh, to trivia night, but how come you're hosting trivia nights? Well, it's something that I've always really enjoyed. I love little facts of knowledge, obscure bits and pieces of stuff, and I love standing up in front of an audience and making a fool out of myself. So where do you actually hold these uh, trivia nights? Basically anyone who would like a trivia night hosted, hopefully I'd be their man. You'd be the man. Well, good luck tonight. Thank you. So good luck to both of our contestants, Jack Dell and Seb Dworkin. Let's get started this week with the letters game. As you know, one contestant will choose nine letters and then both of them will try to make the longest word that they can. Jack, you're our carryover champion, so of course it's your first choice. Uh, can I have the consonant, please? You can. Let's start this week with F. And another consonant, please. R. And another consonant, please. G. Uh, and a vowel, please. U. Uh, and another vowel, please. E. And another vowel, please. A. Uh, consonant, please. Another R. Uh, consonant, please. T. And a vowel, please. And last letter, U. Thank you, Lily, and our first clock for the week. <laughs> Many talents uh, was your talent finding a great word to start the week? Uh, no, just a six. Oh, that's not too bad going. What about you, Seb? Only a five for me, Richard. Let's start with the five. Uh, fugue. Thank you. And Jack? Uh, future. And I'm sure he has one. <laughs> he certainly does. There is uh, more future uh, in future than fugue, being the one that are longer and obviously a fine word too. A good get, Jack. Well done. What did you come up with, David? Uh, well, in fact, uh, the word I saw there was graft and then thought, well, ER makes grafter, which is not just a surgeon who helps with skin processes, but also someone who grafts uh, money, uh, possibly through blackmail. So uh, a good start for Jack. Six points. Let's keep up the pace on this first night of a new week and uh, would you choose our next set of letters, please, Seb? Thank you, Richard. Can I have a vowel, please, Lee? Thanks, Seb. Let's start with O. And maybe one more vowel, please. I. And a consonant, please. S. And a vowel, please. E. And a consonant, please. C. And another consonant, please. S. And one more consonant, please. B. 
And maybe a vowel, please. A. And let's finish with a consonant, please. And last letter, S. And 30 seconds. Seb, how did you go with your first selection on the show? Uh, six for me. That sounds good. Jack? Uh, seven. Let's start with your six, please, Seb. Uh, basics. And your seven? Scabies. Scabies, yes. That, in fact, I think we've had that rather unpleasant condition on the, uh, the show at some stage before. Scabies is perfectly fine. It is that uh, skin infection. But bringing it back to a summer theme, I found cozies. Uh, C-O-S-S-I-E-S. It's an abbreviation of a word, isn't it? It's costume. So, you know, when does an abbreviation become a word? This is a, an Australianised English dictionary, so consequently, cozies, mozzies, sanger, sambo. I mean, we should celebrate the vernacular. Very nice indeed, and a very nice seven points for Jack. He's on 13. Let's get on to the numbers now after uh, some lovely chat about the letters. And uh, Jack, kick us off with those first numbers, please. Uh, Lily, can I have uh, one large and five small, please? Thanks, Jack. One large and five small. And our first set of numbers for the week, two, three, six, another three, seven, and the large number is 25, and the target treats 142. Thanks, Lily. 30 seconds to get there. teacher. Didn't take you long to get there, did it? Uh, no, that was quite an easy one. So I presume you, I you're on 142? Yes. What about you, Seb? Uh, 136. Okay, a little bit. You, you weren't a maths teacher. <laughs> no, I wasn't. It's costing me now. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, Jack, take us through your method, please. Uh, yes, uh, 6 times 25 is uh, 150. 6 by 25 is 150. And 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8. 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8. 8. From 150 is 142. 142. Straight to the target. Very nicely done, Jack. And uh, Lily, that was a, a very neat method. Um, I know you got it very quickly as well. Did you go the same way? I didn't have an alternative. No problems, but uh, a very, very good result for Jack. And 10 points, taking him now on to 23, establishing a very strong early lead. We're heading into our first break for tonight, your first word mix, and this time it is verb idle. Your clue... Mates for life. Back after the break.